Good morning. Here's a famous scripture from Romans chapter 12. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. You know, when Paul tells us to present our bodies to God, he's actually saying, present the whole of your life. Because the whole of your life is lived inside your body, isn't it? I don't do many things outside of my body, do you? I'm not in Los Angeles at the moment. I'm here because I tend to knock around with my own body. The truth is, all of your life is lived in your body. So when the Bible says present your body to God as a living sacrifice, it's saying totally surrender all of yourself to God. And that's the key to Christian success, victory, power over sin, over Satan and over the world is the absolute surrender of yourself to God, allowing God to control your thoughts, your heart, the direction of your life and your decisions, doing what he wants you to do from the inside out. Surrender is a massive theme in the Bible and a massive theme throughout Christian history. I remember Corrie ten Boom saying once that she was at a conference with Oswald Chambers. She was listening to him preach. And as he was preaching on absolute surrender, he had a set of books in his hands he started putting books on the table and they represented different bits of his life. He had one book that represented his kids and he put that on the altar and presented his children to the Lord. Lord, I surrender to you, my children, he said. Um, however, there's um, the middle one. We've always groomed him to be a medical student and we really want him to be a doctor and that's our will for him. And um, so, you know, we don't want him to be a missionary or anything like that. And you know, he's going to be the brains of the family and he's going to do us all proud. And then he took the book back. So, so that book comes off the altar. And then he had another book. And Lord, I give you all of my time. We surrender all of our time to you, Lord. But of course, there are those three weeks we always keep in the summer for the south of France. And, you know, we, we always go at the same place. And, and that's our time as a family and our holiday. And so that book comes off the altar as well. And he goes right through his whole life doing all of these things. You know, Lord, I surrender to you the house. You are our property. But, you know, I don't really want anyone to live with us other than our own family because, you know, we haven't got that much room. And, uh, you know, don't ask us to do anything with the house that's too... And that comes off the altar. And if he, he was just challenging people to consider whether they were really surrendered to the Lord or not. Corrie ten Boom said she was really convicted... She left the room and went out into the gardens after that message. And she spoke to her father in heaven and said, Father, is my altar empty? He said it is. So she said, I did what I've done many times since. But there and then, I got down on my knees and I made a fresh surrender of my life to God, taking my hands off every part and letting him choose for me in every part of my life. Now that's a challenge for us, but it's the only way to live as a victorious Christian. Every time in my own life that I've kept the tiniest thing back, it's always meant defeat and discouragement. And sometimes there's a huge battle over the tiniest thing. And when I've won that battle and given it to the Lord and let go of it, then the victory and peace and power is unbelievable and I always look back and think why did I battle over that today let's make an absolute surrender of ourselves to God so we can have power in our life let me read it to you again therefore I urge you brothers and sisters in view of God's mercy to offer your lives as a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to God this is your true and proper worship father in heaven we do that right now we come to you in the name of Jesus and we give you our whole life the good the bad and the ugly everything about us Lord we put on the altar now our children our money our future our fears our weaknesses our whole lives we give them to you because 
you've bought us with a price and we are no longer our own. We are your blood-bought property and we want to experience your power and victory and freedom in our life this day. We let go of everything we're holding on to and we ask you Holy Spirit right now to speak to every person watching this and speak to me and show us Lord if there's anything left that we're holding back from you. In Jesus' name, Amen.